you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That... that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though... I must give you points for accuracy. Such... painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Reds in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. <laughs> what was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always... waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. But, but, uh, I, I... Time's running out. We need an answer. Oh! Oh! Didn't Zara say something about this? Could have been jungle or birch? I don't... Fred liked the classics. Oak was his favorite. That is... Incorrect! Kent, your answer. Uh, um... Oh, birch? Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. Kent wins again. What do we do now? I have an idea. Oh, Fred, let's go. Ugh, even his snore makes him sound like a know-it-all. You go ahead. I'll keep watch. Time to find that weapon. Whoa. 
half the pages are gone. And the rest? There are a lot of notes. Foundation. Community didn't seem to be as important to him. Whatever ideals that he'd had when he'd started, they'd shifted, rerouted. Something else had settled on his soul. The rest is marked out. Use this thing for a long time. It's, a uh... Whoa. Secret room. There's gotta be something down here. This one is called The Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay. Secrets are good. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. It goes on. Signed by... The Chief. Interesting. But not really what I need. Another... book. Great. But it's unmarked. No author. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This... This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us, together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeo Berg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> wow. How did I get in here? This isn't where I was headed. Must have been sleepwalking. <sighs> Breaking and entering, and now lying to me? No wonder you aren't a faithful friend of Fred. <sighs> Maybe my people were right about you. They say you're dangerous. There are rumors that you're from above the bedrock. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. I'm beginning to think they're true, and if they are, that can only mean trouble. You've already caused quite a bit of it, and you just arrived. I'm sorry, Binta. I really am. I didn't want to cause you any trouble. <sighs> Thank you. Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Go on. Tell me. Not the weapon, exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now, he's in our town pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. Just stop talking. You understand I have no reason to help you after what you've done. But if you really are from up there, there's something I would take in exchange. Get me and my people above the bedrock. You must know a way. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. Of course. But I don't want to get your hopes up. We're not 100% sure our way will work yet. A chance is better than nothing. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. Let me worry about that. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They have a massive army, but I'm sure with your techniques, you'll be just fine. Keep it safe. Treat it with more care than you did Fred's house. You really didn't have to do this. So thank you. I'm not doing it for you. You're our best chance of getting out of this place. I expect you to hold up your end. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here. See what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? We can't just split up. Jesse, talk some sense into him. That's a wise silence, Jesse. Thank you. Huh? No. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me.
Man, I can't believe Jack actually wanted to stay back with those weirdos in Fred's keep. Can you? <sighs> Whatever. I don't even care. What? Do you really expect me to believe that? Let it go, Ray. Come on, we should talk about it if it's bothering you. I said let it go. Wow, this awkward silence is way less uncomfortable. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on. Let me check. Seems like we're still on... Truck's out! Everybody brace yourself! is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with- I am a shadow, sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse. Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. All right. You want to know something only Jesse could know? I hate quartz. Really? What's wrong with quartz? I don't know. It just feels weird. It's from the nether. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Nope. Sorry. I'm not convinced. Sword time! Say your goodbyes, imposter. All right. I've been super patient with you, but I'm done. If you don't get your dumb sword out of my face this minute, you'll regret it. Ah, uh, yes. I'd know that threatening tone anywhere. You are the real Jesse. It can't be. Ivor. <clears throat> yes, it is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a... Nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow, teach you how to whine, too? No. And rude. <laughs> it's good to see you, Ivor. I... Yes. Yes, it's good to see you, too. Though I'm not sure I like this new look of yours. Why do you think? You tried to kill me. Ah, uh, yes. That was an unfortunate way to reunite. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. 
Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. They must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. Yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a desperate man. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible. But dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Parrots! What? You, uh, could say Jesse was pecked to death by parrots. Deadly prison parrots. Yes, I am definitely going with that. And I look forward to getting to know you better. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Shmook bomb! <coughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nuh-uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any word. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys.